New information tonight on those illegal substances police say were found in some Henderson businesses. Henderson police say products containing an illegal compound that is found in marijuana is being sold at 10 businesses. So what are those products and how were they being sold in the first place? Eyewitnesses Ryan Wittry with the details. It's a little bit of a wild west. Uh, thing happening here. Sure, marijuana is illegal in Kentucky and Indiana, but that isn't stopping manufacturers from trying to skirt around the regulations. I've seen them at, you know, farmers markets and, and uh, you know, little shops and, you know, I'm sure they're in the vape shops. I know they're they're popping up in gas stations and and such around the country in, in places where they have there hasn't been sort of a, a new regulatory crack down on them. Products with Delta 8, a weaker compound with THC, are legal. But police say they're now finding products labeled as Delta 8 that are actually Delta 9, a stronger but illegal compound. We believe that they are intentionally deceiving uh, the stores in order to sell more product. So why is one legal, but the other one illegal? The reason they're legal or quasi legal is not because they are safe it is because they just haven't been regulated yet and what is the difference between delta 8 and delta 9 the only real difference between these different types of thc is like the number of carbon bonds on one part of the molecule um, so it's really slight they're very very much similar more similar than they are different Indiana State Senator Jim Toms says he hasn't heard of the problem yet, but he hopes existing state laws will help law enforcement crack down. What we've established in the past few years, four or five years, was to uh, be ahead of anything that would come up on the in the market early, like this, that our law would was geared to uh, deal with a new product such as this. The Henderson Police Department says they believe the 10 businesses found with the Delta 9 products were unaware of what they had. Ryan Wittry, Eyewitness News.